YouTube, this is Jack Heath Roberts One, just coming to you guys with another quick hair update. I know it's been a while since I uh, caught myself on film or did any uh, videoing or YouTubing, so I wanted to jump on and just show you guys my hair and kind of let you guys know a little update. So um, let me just get right into it. Uh, I fresh braided my hair today. Um, I blue dried it yesterday. Um, I don't know, just normal wash condition blow dry. Um, I air dried overnight. And then I blue dried it completely dry um, the next day, which was yesterday. Then I wore my hair into two big French braids to keep it stretched and then proceeded to French braid it today. Um, so let me just jump right in. I beat at the ends, as you guys can see. Um, here we are. I don't know if you guys can see. Right side. And sorry, I'm sitting on a stool. <laughs> left side here and here's the back all right so as you guys can see my hair has definitely been retaining some length um, I can tell a lot especially with my hair fresh braided like it is right now. Um, the products that I used today was just my Shea Moisture Coconut and Hibiscus um, Curl Enhancing Smoothing or Smoothie and I also used some uh, castor oil on my scalp. Um, other than that, those were the only two products that I used. Um, like I said, my hair has definitely been retaining some length. Um, I deep conditioned uh, before I uh, air dried my hair or washed it and so that, I think that helped with a lot of the shine um, the health of my hair uh, nothing too major I did trim my hair um, in April I think it was Easter the day before Easter I trimmed it and so I mean it's been quite some time since then and I think my hair has definitely retained the length that I cut off which was probably about an inch to an inch and a half and actually more um, it's kind of weird to see my hair in French braids to be falling as long as it is right now because I'm so used to it being more so like a couple of inches shorter because I never really blow dry it in, in French braid and I'm always just stretching it. Um, so it's pretty nice. I haven't used much heat before this style. I um, had twisted my hair and it was up for three weeks and then before that, now before I twisted it, it was not um, blow dried at all. I just stretched it over a series of days of stretching and I so the last time I used heat was probably over a month ago so I think that's helped um, no big changes I mean I wash condition my hair I detangle it uh, one thing I do I have uh, actually steered away from um, which is um, humectants um, or products with a lot of glycerin in it um, I have a product this is not a review, but I have a product called the Tali Wajid, um, the Great Detangler. Now, I don't want to throw any shade on this product because this is a great product, but I use this product and it's heavy in um, glycerin and products that, um, it's like a humectant, so it works well with humidity to soften your hair, which it works good for that, but um, for me, I don't really like my hair to be too soft. I felt like... When I twisted my hair the last time, it was very spongy, and so it wasn't really straight or it's like flat. It was kind of, it was stretched, but it was also really spongy. I could stretch the twist and kind of pull on it. It's kind of weird. But um, usually that doesn't happen to at least the second week or so before the moisture gets to my hair. But, um, you know, I guess that's to be expected. It's really hot here in Minnesota. Um, but so I've been trying to steer away from those. Um, I don't really have a problem with moisture retention. Um, I seal in all my moisture that I put in my hair with um, oils. And so I think that that's another reason why I don't have that problem. But, um, you know, if you're having that problem, maybe you should try to steer away from that type of products and just kind of use, you know, the normal, you know, more water-based products with less glycerin in it and then seal everything in with a nice oil and, I mean, it should be fine. So I think that helps um, with stretching my hair. Um, so, yeah, I don't know, just coming in and stopping in and giving you guys an update. Um, my hair is doing great. It's really long now. Um, I think I did a lymph check yesterday. 
it, it falls here right now um, below my chest <laughs> so it's 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 further down here um, it's about here um, it's about here as far as um, where it falls on my like body on the back um, I will do a lymph check soon um, I'm also going to be flat under my hair in October so you guys will get to see that um, haven't used much heat just kind of been on a lift retention and not doing you know the most to my hair just doing the basics and uh, that's kind of what I've been doing so thank you guys for tuning back in uh, I know it's been a while but uh, thank you guys to all my new subscribers and all my old subscribers if you're still here I'm still alive um, I just been busy with work and school and stuff so but thank you guys for tuning in have a great day <laughs>